What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow, an FN23 series where we look at Youngtown on Foot Manager 2023 and we take a look how they develop across their careers so you guys get an idea of what the big gems are on the saves on the save this year. Down below guys, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as well. Also down below is don't leave your comment on any feedback is welcome. I am restarting the Discord soon, I need to just work out. Um, what section to put in there and just restart it from fresh and all the rest of it because I feel like it's I think I just feel, I just feel like I want, I want to fresh start everything and go for, and you know I've learned a bit more about Discord and all this so yeah down below also my let's play channel which has got Resident Evil 4 on there remake on there also soon to be coming on there Jedi Survivor go check that out as well so today guys looking at Goalkeeper which I think is one of the first time we've done this on the series this year Goalkeepers are not that long episodes because there's literally nothing really to look at really um, but goalkeepers are something that people will want to look for their saves I know I am and my Man United save off camera that I'm doing um, and this could be the guy based on what I've seen um, so for his you know who he is it's top of the screen there it's, it's Gavin Bazunu now if I remember correctly he's the first goalkeeper for Southampton he's when I've watched him play recently he's been he's been I'm sure I'm sure he's been in net so um he has a so guys, introduction there, I got a knuckle door right in the middle of a sentence. So as I was going to say, he's got a max potential rating of 170, which I've set it to, so he can reach that potential rating. Um, obviously, no guarantee, of course. Um, but straight away, goalkeepers, look at the stats. Straight away, good out, he's, he's six foot two. He's got good good area, good, good, good corner area, good communication, great handling and reflexes, and passing and one on ones kicking and uh, uh, great. Now the only downside of this guy is in season one he has signed new contracts at Southampton, so you can't sign the first season, as I found out. Man United save, um, which I would love to get his guy in the, and, and back up to the hair and play in cup competitions, but can't do it yet. Um, so so to look at line on a coach report, which is a very consistent performer, is a pretty good good goalkeeper in the future. And he's got a three star current ability and three and a half star, maybe four and a half star potential, which is not bad for a goalkeeper. Now, I'm like Science Ferguson. I'm not great at signing goalkeepers. Um, so I don't know what key. I know one thing not, you, you don't, don't want to see is that. Um, to do unexpected things with or without the ball. You don't want to see that on the goalkeeper. That's the only thing I know. But also, I want to see this passing and technique. So it's passing here. I want to see how this goes. Obviously, you've got 11 technique over here as well. Uh, so we're keeping an eye on that with the passing because keepers obviously need to be more than at well, least modern day goalkeepers have to be good at passing out from the back. Right then, let's go to the first jump. It's not going to be a very long video, guys. The keepers, there's no point looking at goal, goals and assists, really. All right, straight away, as you can see, handling one on ones and reflexes are still at the highest. Obviously, early reach, kind of area, very good as well. And good kicking and good throwing. Very really good stats there for for him obviously worth 4.7 to 14 million pounds dropped down a lot interesting from arsenal and wolves which is just fascinating to see um i want to know why the hell he has not developed are they in the championship or something have they been relegated i don't think they've been relegated um let's have a look and see what's happened here ah they were in the championship for one season they got relegated that might have inhibited his, inhibited his ability to develop but injury record is not bad i wouldn't expect injuries to goalkeepers that much just to say that, saying that they do put themselves in some pretty dangerous situations you know with um go with feet flying everywhere so i'm surprised that you know more keepers don't get long-term injuries because they, they you know certainly certain goalkeepers just go for it don't they um obviously remember the, the really unfortunate incident with check so i'm i'm surprised how many people, when you think about it, how many keepers don't get long-term injuries from like, even if it's just like a, a fracture or a, bat or a dislocated finger or something, or, or, or wrist or something, because obviously pays off a ball, you know what I mean? It's just surprising. Um, must be very, very well, um, good, good, I don't know what the reason is, but surprising, isn't it? So yeah, straight away you can see good abilities. Obviously, obviously 20 years old, so we're going to do five-year jumps because keepers do develop can take longer to develop and they can last longer as well so we can go a lot further than we would with um, normal players because obviously physical stats don't really mean that much other than jumping reach obviously uh, mental stats pretty standard really nothing really amazing there. good termination and good vision uh, it's passing up to 13 i want to say that got a lot higher but like i said we're gonna go five years in the future now now so that's that's gonna go up i think there is a relegation release clause in his contract. Again, this is my save only, so 
your save could be different. Uh, but 47.5 million pound with a, a relegation release clause in there, just in case you curious about him getting a, a release clause in, in your save. So, number five years. Let's go. Well, he's gone to Manchester United and the holy mother. Look at this. This is a fantastic goalkeeper. Um, off the gate, Sean in a second as well. Um, good at 17 AR reach, 17 command of area, handling 16, one on one 17. He looks at 17 and throwing 17. Excuse me, can't talk. I'm so stunned how good he is, I can't get my words out. Absolutely, even even me, who's an idiot at fan selling goalkeepers, can tell this guy's absolutely fantastic. Um, brilliant stuff. So, where did he go to? So, obviously, Southampton sold him for 11.5 to Fulham, and he got um, not many clean sheets. Well, clean sheets, 10. Why is that showing on there? Okay. Uh, 10 clean sheets in total that season. Then he got 7. Then he got 8. Man United signed him for £58.3 million. Who was the player that casted the player? That's the first time I've ever seen that actually on a review. 50, 50, 50 million pound, not a bad deal. 13 clean sheets that first season, and then 20 the next one. 53 million pound plus a player is not bad um, for this goalkeeper. And given that the longevity of keepers is quite long, literally, um, this is a way good deal. Irish as well, I forgot to mention that, um, is the is Republic of Ireland. So, really interesting goalkeeper. I like him. I really, really do. I think he's something that you can definitely try and get early on as a backup to your main goalkeeper. Maybe, for example, if Man United, given his, given his, he's at Man United on here, sign him for, for De Gea's De Gea's backup and then move move De Gea on. I'm going to try and do that. Uh, I'd like to get this guy in as my main goalkeeper, but whether I can do it or not, I don't know. I probably can, so back the bullying, pay, back the bullying, pay the money probably. So yeah, um, I'm assuming he's going to go, go up again because he's going to five years as a goalkeeper. Yeah, like I said, this is fantastic. I mean, the only thing that I would say is a bit of a is a bit of a problem would be the first touch and the communication, but they're not exactly super low, are they? Um, mental stats. I'm surprising that they're not has gone not, not not gone higher, but look at that. I mean, I don't have to say anything. Do I really look at it? It's just it's, if all the major all the stats are 15 or above, apart from three that we really care about. The one that we don't really one we don't really want to focus on is the. It, Eccentricity, that's four, so that's perfect. So, available line we goalkeeper, we've saw it in the scout report. Um, injury record, so we'll look here, is pretty good. Again, like I said before, don't really see many keepers getting major injuries in my saves uh, or in IRL. So, clean sheets for United. So, 13 that season, then 20, then 21, 19, 21, 18, and 20. 53 million pounds, 11.5 if you get him for even cheaper than that, if you manage to get him out of there early and keep him. For this, great deal. I'd love to know who the player was that they exchanged for him. Can we find that out? Probably can. What year was it? What year was it? It was the 2031. And he'd gone to, and he'd gone to Fulham. So, let's have a look. So the sixth or the eighth, we don't really look for. So they gave him this guy, Sanjo Luis. They gave him a striker for him. Interesting. Um, interesting. But yeah, absolutely phenomenal goalkeeper. I mean, we could go even further to 40 years old, really, couldn't we? But I don't think you get much more than this. And I think it's pretty much obvious that this keeper is a fantastic goalkeeper. Plus side to him, almost perfect goalkeeper. Um, downside to him. Cost more if you don't get him early on, and maybe that communication and first touch could be a issue, maybe, but I don't think it really is. Um, but I would definitely sign him, guys. I think bite the bullet and get him. If you can get him for less than 50 million, 50, 53 million pounds, you've got an absolute bargain there. Even if it's 53 million, ain't a bad deal. So, like I said, guys, if you've got a play one to look at in the comment section, let me know. Obviously, don't bombard it. I do have a lot of space now for, for people to give requests uh, I'm not gonna make this daily series because it, it takes time to do these videos to find players and game to develop um, also this course coming back soon as well I'm gonna do a video on the discord when it's up and running so you can see it and what we're gonna be doing try and push it a lot more start fresh everything um, try not to just, try and set it up with we're not we spend any money on it because it's not worth it's not, it's not worth it when you've got basic hours at work spend money on a discord um, obviously things change but we'll see so guys 
If you enjoyed the video, hope you have hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. Don't forget to check out the Let's Play channel down below. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Until then, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.